All right, we're recording. We're recording. All right, and so we're streaming. Uh, so we're uh, we're testing Hold the sound on. here. Yeah, we're up. All we're, right, we're we're testing the sound here at the uh, live from Tailgate, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida. Here at the uh, world's largest cocktail party. Excited uh, excited to be here with uh, Miami Mike, Public House, and the 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 beautiful uh, uh, wife Nirvana, Georgia Bulldog. So. Uh, we're, we're out here. Uh, we're trying to do a little test right now to see if everyone can hear us. Yeah, we're doing a test on the sound. Make sure the volumes are all right. It's a little windy out here today in Jacksonville, but we're trying to trying to give y'all some some high quality content on this Saturday. Absolutely. Uh, just gotta 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 see if the wind's gonna be a little too much for us here, and uh, and and make sure we got that good sound. Um, hopefully, everything is. Uh, it's coming through as it should. So. All right, right on. All right, there goes the camera. All right, we're no longer good. We, we lost the camera. Okay. Where's, where's that last stream, Jerry? That'll work, that'll work. I think that'll work. Just let it slow. Nope, it's out. Hey, let me grab that uh, string real quick. Oh, I just need to redo this, the legs. It won't go nowhere. Hold on. All right, folks, bear with us. Try to get the, try to get the cam set. This is the, this is the mobile difficulties, the live uh, mobile difficulties. Absolutely. First uh, broadcast. What's that out and about? So uh, bear with us. So. Hopefully everybody's having a great Saturday so far. Um, enjoying uh, your team and your favorite beverage and watching uh, a little college football. A lot going on right now. Uh, you know, we hear Mike's Mike's uh, Miami Hurricanes are up on uh, Pittsburgh right now, so obviously he's pretty excited about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, the, 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 the most interesting, I guess, uh, uh, score right now is uh, Wisconsin's taking it to Iowa at this point, so uh, which is rather interesting. So we got our engineer, Public House, doing yeah, work here. Public House, production, making it happen, engineering, getting us straight. So Shout out! I, I I think uh, I think we're set there. So uh, hopefully everybody's up and going. That's right. We need to take we need to take a look at what these games are looking like. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Let go ahead and give us. Uh, See what kind of update you got there. We can uh, we can chat on some of the uh, we can talk about some of the games we did talk about on our show on Thursday night. Um, yep. You know the sure. the the folks on ESPN are calling this Statement Saturday, which you know kind of kind of goes back to what I talked about yeah. being that there's a, there's a lot of rivalry games this week and and uh, some 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 uh, chances for some big teams to get knocked off and prove themselves. So what do we? Uh, what are we looking like on updates there, Mike? Michigan State just scored. Uh oh. So 14 13, Michigan State. Uh -oh. They've scored 14 unanswered now. Uh oh. That's that's trouble. Cause, that's, uh, that's an issue. That's we, an issue for we, sure. We need uh, we need Michigan on that one because that's uh, part of a big parlay we got going we got, on. Uh, uh, for sure. We got Baylor. They got the ball on their own 38. Mm -hmm. Down four to Texas right now. Five minutes left in the second. Okay. Still early. Still, Still early. early. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Some some of our some of our picks are teetering a little bit, but it is uh it is obviously early. And um, one game that's uh I, I know Mike you talked about a minute ago was number two in the AP poll, Cincinnati playing Tulane. Oh yeah. Uh, is 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 Tulane still up in that one? No. So Cincinnati just scored a little bit ago. It's fourteen right. nine. Okay. Since he, or, uh, Tulane's got the ball on their own 38, though. Okay. Five, five in the left in the first half. All right. Since he was a minus 28. Yeah, minus 28. So, minus obviously, 28. Uh, that's a huge, yeah, that, that, huge that's, potential. That's a lot. That's a lot. And, and you said there's only a few minutes left in the first half? Five minutes. So, I mean, uh, those folks that uh, took Tulane might, uh, and, and those 28 points might have a shot there for sure. Um, yep. So uh, another game we didn't talk about was Iowa State, number twenty-two Iowa State at, at Virginia, uh, seven and a half on Iowa State, um, five and two uh, are uh, 
is Iowa State and West Virginia three and four. So seven and a half points, and you know, what what do you, what are you thinking? That's what are you thinking? Iowa State, there? West Virginia. Iowa State, West Virginia. What, what do you have the line at? Seven and a half. Iowa State. That's at Iowa State, isn't it? No, it's at it's at West Virginia. What time's that game? Is that, the, is that a three uh, thirty slot? Or the I would say game? it's three thirty. As I look down my list of, of uh, it's two. It's actually about no, forty five minutes. All right. Um. You know, I kind of lean West Virginia there. Honestly, I, I think that's a game that that they could catch Iowa State slipping and maybe looking ahead. Um, who does Iowa State play next week? Yeah, they got Texas next week at home. Yeah, and Iowa State. Did they not win last week? Didn't they make a so statement? Oklahoma State? Yeah, they yep. no, no, no. They lost Oklahoma State. They beat Oklahoma State 24-21. Yeah, so so they, a, they're riding a little high right now. On a bit, on a bit of a roll for sure. They're on a high sure. right now. Then they got Texas, you know, next week. That's always a big game, regardless of you know rivalry or whatnot. If you're if you're in the Big Twelve playing Texas, that's yeah, that's something to take note Absolutely. of. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Uh, this one could be a situation where West Virginia sneaks in and uh, takes this one, for sure. Um, the other game that we didn't look at, uh, we we lost the coach at Texas Tech. We talked about that. They're five and three. They're going. They're at Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, eight and zero. Oh, Oklahoma. Nineteen and a half points here, and and. You know, Oklahoma struggled just about in in in, in, every in almost every game. All of every game, yeah. In, in they, almost every game, they, even they, Kansas. I mean, Kansas yeah. almost gave them a a first or second loss of the year. And, 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 and Kansas is like first loss, yeah. the Vanderbilt of uh, oh, Kansas. The, we know about you know, Kansas. Kansas, Kansas is is horrible. They didn't win a game for what three years. So um, I, losing the FCS, you games. know, I don't I don't know if they lose this week, but. You know, my opinion on Oklahoma is there's no way they're gonna they're gonna make it out it, it, it without a loss in in uh, in the Big Twelve. I, I just they've got the toughest games coming up, and it just it's just not happening. I mean, yeah. I, I they they just don't have that that sooner moxie that they that they've had before, and I, I think they're gonna they're gonna catch a loss. You know, it, 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 it's obviously it's probably not going to be this week, but that 19 half points might be a might be a nice uh, chance to make a couple of bucks if uh, you know. Oh yeah, with, absolutely. With, with with Texas Tech, because a lot of times, what my understanding is when when someone boots a coach, that first game, the the team's pissed, you know, and they want they've got something to prove. So, you know. Might not win, but maybe they've got enough to prove that you know uh, they're not going to lose by twenty damn points. So right. this might be a might little uh, might be a chance to, to 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 hit one and take double a couple bucks here. Your, double check if you're streaming. It definitely it's might be. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it's supposed to be going. Right. It might just be our service. Is it? It's not popping up live. All Check right. with your phone, drink wine, because you have Sprint. See if you're, see if hey, folks working. out there, uh, anybody text me or Mike? Tell us if you're uh, catching us live here. We're uh, we're trying to see if the live stream is uh, is up and running. Uh, we've been going for a minute. We thought we were uh, we were streaming live here. So uh, if if you give us a text, Big Don, you out there uh, watching us live, Monty. Yes, well, Sean, it's, it's, it's got Georgia. us offline right now. So we're offline. Yeah, I think the connection is not being able to send the data. Is what it's saying. It's just an issue with the connection. That's fine so though. We can just we can just we're record. Recording. Yeah, we've been recording the whole time. All right. It it, it leaves error too because now we can say whatever the fuck we want to. You yeah. Know? We can go right. back and. That's right. We can go back and good. delete all this. So. Yeah. So obviously we're not live. We got uh, some issues with our uh, connection. I'll still I'll still leave it up so that if the connection goes in, you know, yeah. we might pop in. But yeah. hey, stop streaming. Stop going live. Keep recording and then redo it. I jumped off the Wi-Fi. Maybe that'll help. Okay. I jumped off the, the spot. Stop streaming and, and, and try to kick it back yeah. on. We're on. We were online Twitch just a second ago. 
Well, you weren't online YouTube. Just double check. Try it again. All right. We'll pop them back on. So it's back up. It's sending data to Twitch. We're online Twitch. We are online Twitch. No, now it's sending data again. I think it's just, I think it's bouncing. We're online YouTube. Oh, so we're, we're up. I just got the notification. That we're on? All right. I jumped off. Jump off the hot So, so yeah, we, Ian Gleason said, hey guys, Ian Gleason says a little laggy, but the audio's good. So, okay, right obviously on. we're, we're, we're still rolling. All right, um, we're back. We're back like we never left. And, uh, you know, appreciate it, Ian. Um, and Ian's saying uh, no stream up right now. But let's uh, let's keep it uh, let's keep it going best we can. All right. Be back up yeah, it, should, All right. it should pop up. All right. So um, let's see. We're talking about Oklahoma and the fact that we, we don't think that uh, – or I personally don't think Oklahoma can get through the Big 12 right now without a loss. So, uh, it, it's yeah, just, it's, it's, it's a matter of what Oklahoma team are you going to get, right? Yeah. Are you going to get the team that barely beat Kansas, or are you going to get the team um, – oh, they're about to get stuck. Sorry, folks, I got distracted by it. There's a lot of traffic going on right now, potential chaos. Um, what time is that game, that Oklahoma-Texas State? Is that a night game in Lubbock? Uh, I think it's a midday game. I think it's probably 3.30. So. Okay, it's, it's in uh, Norman, too. It is. It's at Norman. Oklahoma. It is in Norman. That's correct. I don't know. You know, the, the two teams that I've been super sketched out about all year long, and I feel like they don't deserve their ranking Oklahoma is – Oklahoma and Notre Dame. 100%. 100%. I mean, the, the freaking rabbit's foot rubbing the whole damn year. 100%. You know, it's like – it's just way too many damn close calls. And a lot of people say – Oh well, you know they've done what it takes to get it done, but you know I've been Florida's done what it takes to get it done the last few years until this year, you know with Mullen. But it's not the same with these knuckleheads with Notre Dame and Oklahoma. I just think they've been damn lucky, right? You know, and and I think I know I I I, I feel sure that Oklahoma's going to go down in the next few weeks. It won't be Texas Tech, but again, it might be a chance to win a couple bucks if you. Uh, you know, got those 20 points, basically. Yeah, I, you know, I, Texas Tech, too, is very – they're so up and down. They I mean, are. are they, well, they just are, is their defense going to give up 70 points to Oklahoma like they did to Texas and yeah. have Caleb Williams just kind of show the nation who he really is? Because right. he's sort of struggled, too, ever since he's been given that starting role. He's, he's sort of – been in the it's it's kind of the same similar with AR right yes like yeah. AR is nice but when Dan Mullen sort of gave him the reins a little more he kind of was deer in the headlights a little bit and Dan Mullen went well shit I, mean, I don't know if it's this he is back, the right he guy. backed off of him. exactly yeah, yeah, true, which true, today right. as you and me talked about earlier you have to have you, you, I mean he's gonna have got, to have a game you got, and we're gonna go down a rabbit hole and but but yeah there's no doubt in my mind if Mullen doesn't play you know, Anthony Richardson for a majority of this game, it, it, it's just going to be ridiculous. And, and you know, his loyalty to his quarterbacks is getting a little stupid right well, now. Well, how do you so. – I mean, how, what do you feel about Emory? It's not like Emory's a, mean, a bad quarterback. No, but he's got more he, – here, here's the deal with Emory, and, I, and I've, I've looked at the film study, and basically all – the only time he's going to throw a pass – is if he sees the numbers of the receiver. So he he doesn't lead his receivers. He doesn't throw the ball downfield. He's going to do those little He's more conservative. It, way too much well, because well, he doesn't. Do you think do you think that's Emory is that him not finding his checks and he's just he's just going to the check down way too, way too fast. I, it, it, or is it the play call for? Check, no, it's nothing to do with play call. Nothing. Zero to do with play call. He only throws when he sees a receiver's numbers. Okay. Okay. So he's got to have somebody turn around. He's not. He never leads. He's not leading. He never open. leads a receiver. He's kind of he never throws it. He's kind of doing the Tua at Alabama it's thing. Way it's just, too just conservative. Got, I got skill players around me. I'm gonna wait till yeah, they get open. And they're open not that skill player. You know, they're not right. that great. They're okay, but right. they're not that great. So that's Emory's problem. Where. You know, Rich is not afraid to throw the ball down Cheers, the field. Cheers, Ian. Cheers, my brother. Cheers, Ian. Um, you know, Rich is not 
he's just not afraid to throw the ball down the field. And, and uh, that's the only way that, in my opinion, that Florida stands a chance of beating the spread. I know, I know that you guys think that, you know, they, 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 can, they can do it. But I, I'm, I'm telling you, Georgia this year, Kirby Smart wants to stomp on Dan Mullen's throat. Who doesn't? Um, Who doesn't? Well, I don't, obviously, because that's my coach. But but he really wants to stomp on his throat this year, and that's why I think, you know, you got Bennett's going to start the game. Bennett will do okay. Then they're going to put JT Daniels up, down in there and just start ripping it. And, and unless we see the second coming, mark my words, unless we see the second coming of Tim Tebow, with Richardson today, it's it's an easy Georgia covering, you know, taking those fourteen points. It's easy, trust me. I know you feel different. Go ahead, I, go ahead I do, give us I, your you know, I do feel different, but I do think AR will have a Tebow s game. It's not like he's going to go for one fifty and they're not going to feed him fifteen times, you know. But I think he could have six six carries for eighty seven. 102, you know, I think he has one of those big breakaway runs that when Georgia gets up, you know, and it kind of feels like, oh, like that oh shit moment for Florida. I think he puts AR in. He has one of those big 40, 50 yard runs, gets some momentum, gets the crowd back into it, gets that quick touchdown. I do think this is how I see this game going. I think Georgia's going to jump on y'all. I think it'll be 14 0 for or Georgia. Dan Mullen will have that OS moment. Yeah, he'll put in AR. AR will have a little bit of struggle passing, but they'll try to bottle him up, and he'll find that seam, bust one for 40, 50, get the crowd back in it. They'll get a touchdown, go to half, maybe 17 to seven, and then that second half, I think that's when, I think well, that's when things will change. You know, I, you know, obviously, I, I hope, I hope that happens <laughs> in terms of. Uh, Can they just both lose? You know, Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hope it does. You know, you know, just for the fact that it's going to be a fun game, we're here, we're excited. I'm oh, excited yeah. about, you know, rooting for my Gators. And, you know, we hear all these, you know, we're sitting here in the uh, in the Gator Booster parking lot, you know, listening to all these Gators around. Although, to the left of Mike right now are two Georgia Bulldogs walking their dog. But, uh, you know, I, I, it, it'd be great if that, that could happen, but... You know, truly, in terms of where I'm spending my money again, it's uh, I just I just don't see it this time. Now, the key note I want y'all to take away from that is the word "spending his money." He knows that he's just spending that money. That's the thing. He's not investing that money. He's not getting a return on that money. Well, well, because Florida, even though he has this hat on and has no faith, Florida. Is getting it done today, as well as our boy Ian's team, Florida State. I like Florida State to upset Clemson in that game. I still do. What do you think? I think that they are not going to upset. I cannot feel good about saying Florida State and Ian Gleason Biased. and Sean Gleason Biased. and Kalen Gleason's team is actually going to beat Clemson today. Now, I will say – that they will beat the line, which we talked about in our in our talk on Thursday night. But I just don't have it in my heart that to line. say Love that it. Dabo is going to lose to Tallahassee State at home today. Um, who did, it's who, just not going to happen. Dabo lost last week to who? Who did they lose to last week? I really don't know. I was hoping you were gonna you were gonna follow remember. that up for me, Dave. I can't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe. But the but the, maybe, the, but maybe the key too much. But the key here. of that phrase was they did lose last week. So that's what's the loss last week? I mean, that's a huge thing. They play at three thirty. It's yes. not like it's a night game in Death Valley. No. They're coming off that loss against Pittsburgh. Who Miami is currently winning against? Let yeah, me just which reiterate Pittsburgh, that. And yeah, but but remember that is that is happening. That's real Pittsburgh life. Pittsburgh and at Wake the Forest are the two best teams in the ACC right now. So this they, is true. they they might and, and and we talked about Mike on the way in on the drive in. We talked about the quarterback at Pittsburgh being a Heisman candidate. So I, I I just 
you know, I told my boy Don in Oklahoma, I said, dude, don't count on Florida State to win, but they will cover. So that's still my firm belief and where my money is this week. Look, I'll, one thing I will say about that line, since you brought it up, at nine and a half, Florida State should be much higher than a plus 250, 280 on that line. That's just that's just something to consider. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Somebody may know something that we don't. It could be. Or that some do. It's 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 Memphis Mike, you know. Granted, he used to coach my old alma mater. Mr. Mike Norvell. It, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna happen. So just uh, we'll we'll see. Look forward to that uh, with uh, with the Gleason clan feeling pretty good about where they are this. Uh, this point yeah, um, we, we gave Ian a chop on Thursday I don't think yeah I, we did and by the way he recorded he took pics he took you know uh, he probably uh, he'll make it probably in a gif it'll it, go viral it, at some point I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned I'm about concerned. what he has done that's with, a red flag with those uh, with those pic those pictures and the video of us doing that thing that you know that ugly that, that, that ugly motion that they do there in Tallahassee. So terrible action. Uh, yeah, he, he he made sure to tell us about that one. So. But I but I love it. I love yeah, it. If Florida State can win today, the chop was worth it. That's all I'm gonna say. I, I'll I'll put that out there. The chop will be worth it if Florida State can pull out that win. As long as long as they. I met you know what, Dave? Points, Before the day's over, I may let out a they let out a gator chop for you. If, if the hey, Gators pull this off, that, we, we may be chomping. We oh, may be well, chomping into the sunset. That, that, that'll be. We'll, we'll chomp all the way to the sunset until five a.m. in the I'm gonna need a couple more of these to get there. A- but we'll, absolutely, we'll make absolutely. it happen. Absolutely, and uh, we'll take the uh, the Gator tailgate old fashions as well. Cheers. <laughs> so, all right, let's uh, let's uh, let's hit a couple other games, Mike. So, um, is is I look down the slate. Uh, the top 25, we got Colorado at number seven. At number seven, uh, no, they're playing at Oregon. Colorado playing at Oregon, number seven, Oregon. 24 point spread, two and five, Colorado, six and one, Oregon. You know, I, I don't I don't see a lot happening in that game. Um, I, now, 24 points, a lot of damn points, obviously. And, yeah, for sure. And, and, and Oregon right now, you know, they've done okay. They, To me, they backslide a little bit, you know. But okay. um, it, it, it definitely wouldn't be a game I'd put, I'd put a lot of money on. That's obviously why we didn't select it on Thursday night. So Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's a game that, you know, honestly, I like Oregon a lot. But their problem has just been injuries. I mean, they've they've had an injury bug all year yep. long. They really since haven't the had the beginning a of the year. Yeah, I mean, they really haven't had a chance to have Ohio State game. You know, their full one and twos kind of running the way that they need to in in those game plan packages. I I was very high against Colorado at the beginning of this year. I, I faded Colorado a lot. I chose the other side a lot against Colorado. Colorado yep. is starting to get it together. Um, this is a game that I think, if you're an Oregon better, you're nervous about. Yeah. And if you're a Colorado better, I mean, if you're a Colorado better, time to throw some money you down. Take another shot because yeah. you know it's gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting game. But I think Colorado maybe could could sneak it out. I think they cover. They could maybe even sneak out the upset. Right. So that's that's a big one there. I mean, if you're talking about sneaking out, 24 points. That sounds like a winner, winner, chicken dinner to me. That's, um, that's a hell of a money line right there. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, rolling down. Um, so, uh, my boy, my boy Don in in, in in Tulsa talked about SMU and Houston. You know that game. You know, granted, it's not the Power Five boys, but number nineteen SMU uh, getting one versus. Houston, they're playing at Houston. Uh, SMU seven and zero, Houston six and one. You know this this is kind of that battle, right? In that in in, in a, AAC, and um, his big bet was he thought it was going to go on the over, and I think that over is like sixty 
what are we talking about, 62 or something yeah, like something that? Something like that. And, and, and both these teams, we know that AAC, you know, loves to, you know, chunk it down the field and score points. So, um, definitely one to consider here, you know. And, and, and I think this is going to – this is going to probably define who that AAC leader is after today, right? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, I, I, I took Houston a couple times earlier in the year. I, I took SMU a couple times earlier in the year. I like both of these teams. Um, for that reason, it's a game that, you know, I didn't I didn't see going one way or another. I, I could see it. It's a rivalry game. You know, I could see Houston winning by three, winning by seven. I could see SMU doing the same thing. Um, I think your boy Don in, in Oklahoma is is on to something there with Taking the over. The over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just not playing the side. You know, SMU is a team that their defense is a little little sketchy. Their offense is money. Um, yeah. Houston, you know, they their defense is surprisingly better than they, you know maybe should be. Yeah. Um, as as they have Holmgren, you know the or. Or Dana Holgerson, the Holgerson. old uh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, West Virginia coach. Yes. You know, he's there. Yes. He he's, was never a defensive guy. Right. Um, but Houston, he's he's got the defense. You know, he's got the right hires. He's got the right game plan. They've been they've been clicking along a little bit on defense. So that would be my one issue there potentially with the over. But in order for Houston to keep up with SMU and SMU to keep up with Houston, I think it's going to have to be a shootout. So yeah. I, I think I do like that. So so. Here's, here's what the naysayers are saying about this game. So, you know, the Texas Tech job came open, and everybody's saying Sonny Dykes, SMU, is leading candidate for for that job at, at, at Texas Tech. And it seems, you know, as, as I listen to some of the folks on, on the radio and TV, they're, they're like, okay, this guy's auditioning. So it's like they, they, the expectation – is that SMU is going to kick ass in this game because Sonny Dykes is auditioning for a job at Texas Tech. Right. I mean, what, what, you know, and, and, and the same thing goes for, for Dave Aranda. And, you know, is he going to kick ass at Baylor today? Which, going hey, up for the public LSU house, job. what's the, what's the, what's the Baylor, Baylor uh, score right now? I mean, yeah, is he auditioning? For that position at LSU, well, how much you know, to me? How much is that you know an audition for the coach, and how much is that the players? Yeah, get into their head exactly. and going, oh, shit, my coach might be gone. Yeah, and it's so, all week about talking about how your coach is leaving you, and your coach is still yeah. instructing you. You know, you th- he thinks everything's good or whatever. Whole time the players are looking at him yeah. like, bro, who are he you? He might be leaving. You know, we don't, oh, we God. don't even know if we want to trust you. Anymore, right, you right. Know, I think guy. I think that's an excellent point, Mike. I mean. You know, could double turn on the on the on the naysayers and the experts right. that, that that talk to the fact that you know maybe it's you know an audition. So yeah. may, maybe it's the other way around. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, where are we on that damn? Which which uh, you know worries me uh, uh, quite a bit on 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 where that game is at uh, at Baylor. But um, what's what's that score on that right now? Are you looking that up? Yeah, I'm trying to get it. So, um, but I, Mike, I think you make a great point. I, I, I think getting in the in it's the kids' heads. Halftime, fourteen ten Texas. Fourteen ten. So Cincy still, halftime, fourteen to twelve. Okay, there you go. So whoever bet on Tulane is winning. Wisconsin halftime, twenty to zero. Oh, oh. so I think that's one of those head to heads that I'm losing this week, Mike, because I picked. Ah, well, you picked Wisconsin, didn't we? I did. And you know what the shittiest part about that is? You didn't put your money where your mouth is. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't end Damn up getting it, to man. the ticket on Wisconsin. I I went with the under instead. I took the under at 39 and a half. Damn and now it, I'm, you know, trying to find potentially a porta potty because I'm I'm kind of pooping my pants a little yeah. bit on that one. But what's that's, most that's... exciting for Miami Mike right now? Say it again. Say is, it, Dave. Say what it is most exciting for Miami Mike right now is his Hurricanes are up 31 to 17 over Pittsburgh. Boom. 
Is that in so, the first? That's in the first. With three minutes left still in the first it, half. It, 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 Very so high scoring. It's game. a damn good time that Very I didn't put game. any money there. I didn't. We didn't touch that one. I didn't either. We, I, you know, we I thought, did not touch that one. But this is a game that that we spoke about, you know, on the ride over here a little bit too. And this is a huge game for Manny Diaz. I yep. mean, if he can go in and beat this Pittsburgh team, Please. Pittsburgh is no, number two in the ACC, number one in the Coastal Division. If Miami can go in, beat Pittsburgh in this game, and beat Florida State. He'll be the coach for the rest of this year. There we go. Hey, He'll be the all coach good for, for us skaters. Year. We want Manny. Go Manny. You know, I don't know. Go I, Manny. I, I'm still back and forth on it. Um, if he is the guy for the future, I love Manny because he is a true Miami Hurricane at heart. He is a true fan. He wants to see the program. I like the guy, man. He I wants really to did. see the program get back to where it should be. But at the end of the day, if you don't produce in Miami – you're gone. But we, really, we've but, we've gotten to the point now where if we were what like four head coaches since our last champ, four or five head coaches since our last championship. Yeah. All the red flag stage, the honeymoon stage is over. If you don't get it done within two three years, it's it's pretty much history says that you're out of there. But I I, I just don't think that the administration That's, at at Miami gives a rat's ass about football anymore. Right. I, I, you know, because you look at right. it, and, and, and you know, the Gator fans on my blog, they they run smack all the time about, you know, look at the crowd at a Miami game. Awful. You know, it's, it's horrible. So, I mean, they just don't seem to really – they don't. They don't want to invest in football. They don't want to care. They don't care about football. Well, and I think it goes to that president, you and know, that athletic yeah, director I mean, that just. It's just. It's. It's not like it used to be, Mike. And I, I, I hate that for you. It almost seems Nebraska-ish to me. Oh God! Don't do that. I, I, I do hate. That. I hate to tell you, man. Well, you know. So I think. But, there's, but there's, at least you're in the in the in the hotbed of football. There's two things that play a factor in our attendance. I think. One huge one is we don't have a stadium near campus. You know, right. when we had the right. Orange Bowl, it was about it, – granted, it wasn't on campus. But it's close. It was right. probably about a 15-minute drive, 15-, yeah, 20-minute tops, you know. Now you've got these students having to go 35, 40 minutes for a game Yeah. on a Saturday morning at 12 p.m. Yeah. That, that ain't happening in Miami, right. man. Right. That, right. They're going to party in their ass off, and they'll watch it on TV or not even watch it at all. Right. So, the, the, but the main issue is, if you win, they will come. Yeah. When we were winning, yeah, oh, it was yeah, it was up. but dude, sellout as after soon sellout, as they, sixty thousand fans. Yeah, as soon as they stop or even backtrack, they're like, "F you, we're not coming." One hundred percent. You know, what I mean, when you like, look at twenty seventeen, most fans aren't that. Aren't that? We're fickle. We are fickle. fickle. They're but, not. But that the fickle. reason is we're so fickle is because the last twenty years, we've been it, it's we've basically been sold. A, a pipe dream. Yeah. You know? Um, that this is the guy, this is going to work, give it four years and we'll be good. Yeah. And it comes that fourth year and all of a sudden it, they look worse than their first year and everybody goes, well, shit, why am I, why am I going to keep spending, you know, I'm a season ticket holder. Yeah. For the Hurricanes. Yeah. I, you know, the tickets are anywhere from, you know, they're about two grand. You do a donation, or, you know, require it's, it ends up being about three grand a year for the tickets that I got. For two tickets. Yep, I got them on the forty-five away side. They're about fourteen rows up. Beautiful it's pretty seats. Close. Pretty close. Beautiful seats. To what I'm paying for the for the swamp. You yeah. know, and yeah. when you you make that contribution each year, you or you put your money where you hope that it benefits. Right. And for your team to average seven wins over the last twenty years, a year. That's tough. That's that's, that's tough. tough to do, man, on a consistent tough. basis. Now, granted, I'm a loyal to a fault person, but at the end of the day, Miami fans aren't. Right, right. Miami I, fans aren't. There's there's I a there's, there's way more I think things. There's a fun, deterioration. In there that, are in that way fan more base fun things right to now. do on a Saturday yeah. that don't cost you two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. That you can do in Miami. Yeah. Instead of that game. Yeah. You know, so I think tough. so those two factors play a huge issue. If you win, yeah. you know, you look back in 2017 when we had Mark Ritt, we were number two in the nation. Yeah. We oh, we beat the brakes off of Notre Dame, sellout crowd, put up 40 on them, held yeah. them to under 
20. I mean, beat the side out of them. Right. That will happen again, but you have to win. You have to beat the teams like Virginia. You know, you have to beat oh God, the teams yes. like uh, Pittsburgh for today example. You know, yeah. you, you have to beat the AC. We haven't won an ACC championship since we've joined. I know. We've I know. only been to one championship game since we've joined. Right. We've right. won our division one time. Our division, now granted, it's got powerhouses, Dave. It's yeah, got it some is. juggernauts, it you know, it Virginia is. Tech, it is. Duke, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh. Vir- Virginia, Georgia Tech. Um, powerhouses. I mean, this Absolutely. is Syracuse. This is, this yes, is, this is real deal Power stuff is. right here. It you know, this, this football. is something that you got to perform week in yeah. and week out or, or you end up where we are. So, oh, yeah, SEC East is way better. Way better. True that. Better than anything in the Vandy's a stud. Anyway. So yeah, you know, I, I think it's it's interesting. I, I it's like big, Manny. It's a big turning point. I it's like a Manny. Big damn I, I would love for it for it to work out with yeah. Manny, but yeah. at the end of the day, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I I just at this point, you know, if we got to get Ed Orgeron, if we got to get Lane Kiffin, if we got to get the Pope in there, get Lane spend the money, the get but, it done. But, let's do something. But you're 100 percent right when you talk about it starts at the top. I mean, yeah. the president and the AD. The president's issue is he gave all of the roles of athletics to the AD and yeah. said, you got that. I'm going to focus on academics. And that's cool. Miami's yeah. a great school. Yeah. Fantastic school. Absolutely. But the popularity for Miami didn't come from their nursing program. No, it came it from not. the football came program. The football and the team. That's where the 20, money's coming 20, in. 20, 20 years ago. Put it back in, just, Julio Frank. I'm calling yeah. you out. It's just tough. It's tough. Make it's it happen, tough. Blake James. It's tough. Well, we're kind of winding out on time. Um, yeah, we're kind of yeah, we're, we're yeah, getting low I, on battery I, I, on the old computer. Yeah, I think uh, I think Mike. Let's uh, you know we appreciate everybody listening in. It's it's our first remote, you know, and and, and very excited about where things are going with the college thing. But I, Mike, I, can you take a minute to talk about get ripped and where the base of of you and public houses? Uh, whole whole program is here so that everybody can understand. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, you know, the main thing that we do at Get Ripped is obviously sports cards. Um, so, you know, we do a lot of breaks. We do a lot of personal opportunities. We talk about what is good in the market. The, the main thing that Get Ripped is concerned is investments and the community and making sure that everybody comes together uh, it's like an all you can eat mentality, right? All you can eat and everyone can eat. That's how we feel. That's kind of how we strive ourselves on. So we feel like if we're helping you, you help us. It's kind of that hand in hand exchange and agreement or so, so to speak. Um, but we're all about it, man. I mean, we do card breaks or we haven't done them in a while. Um, you know, we've sort of mainly focused on the football side of it at this point for the season. And getting these pickums out, doing these talks, getting more of a consistent show basing uh, on our channels like YouTube and Twitch, Facebook, things like that. Um, so definitely look out for that to come. Uh, speaking of Public House, he's actually doing a. He's behind our camera right now. He's he is here. Our head engineer, who's also uh, helps us keep uh, supplied while we've been on this live today. Um, him and Steel City are going to start doing a weekly show where they're going to talk cards talk you know what to look at what to sell what to hold the different values and how they fluctuate it's very similar to you know the stock market um and even the payout is very similar to the stock market so if you like money you like sports make sure to give us a subscribe make sure to follow we got a lot of great content coming this is really sort of just the beginning uh and hopefully many more live uh absolutely absolutely streams to come Absolutely. Uh, I mean, what, future, for sure. what, what, what a fun time with uh, friends and family here at the uh, at the at the world lot, world's largest cocktail party. We appreciate Absolutely. everybody listening in, and and man, it's 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 been a blast, and hopefully uh, we'll have more of these uh, coming up in the future. So for sure, appreciate everything, and uh, last but not least. Go Gators, go baby! Canes. Go Gators! Up at halftime, ten point underdog against Pitt. Woo! All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Peace out, guys.